Preppenstein is here to, to give us some input about the uh, Miami Design District. Now, what you might not realize is the Miami Design District project is also has a billion, a valuation of over a billion dollars. So this is another billion dollar project that's in the works right now. Uh, I think the first phase is, is fairly close to being completed, and Stephen's gonna give us some insight. But let me tell you about Stephen, um, and I'm gonna read off the bio here. He's the Chief Operating Officer for DACRA. If you don't know who DACRA is, you've probably seen the founders uh, face on a lot of uh, covers of the New York Times and other magazines, a gentleman called Craig Robbins. Craig Robbins had the vision to come over to the design district back in the day and start buying up properties, doing a variety of different things. Stephen got involved, others got involved, and they ultimately brought it through to this uh, fruition. So Stephen's the Chief Operating Officer. He, uh, he's um, for the real estate development company. Let's see here, he's also, uh, the CEO is Craig Robbins, and Mr. Graham's team man manages the overall direction of where DAC was sort of going. So Stephen, rather than going through all this, I'm gonna let you sort of take over. With this, we have Stephen Grettenstein, Miami Design District, and we're gonna have more slides popping up right now. Thank you, Peter, and thank you to the uh, show for having me here today. Uh, I was struck by some of the, the contrast, but before I go on, I'm gonna do a little audience participation for me, please, so I know who I'm speaking to. How many people here live and work in Miami or Miami Beach? Okay, it's a pretty good group. And how many of you have been to the design district? I work there. Oh, you work there. Okay, so you guys have a pretty. You, you guys have been there, so I'm not starting from a, a base of zero. But what was what was striking to me? Uh, Jacker is a local company. Uh, as Peter was talking about, Craig was born and raised in Miami Beach, and uh, I've been with him for over 20 years. And uh, we're the you know quintessential local boutique company. Swire, of course, is this international. Uh, very successful uh, firm. I think you're still based in Hong Kong, right? I think, you know, so they're all over the world and they've been in Miami. Uh, they have globally transformative projects and we're, we're very local. Uh, they are major project oriented and we are neighborhood project oriented. So I think that it's an interesting contrast that we're both at this critical moment in terms of what we're doing with this community. Uh, Again, I said we started off as that we, we, we perceive ourselves to be neighborhood developers, and South Beach was our first neighborhood. So we started off by, uh, in the late 80s and early 90s, uh, picking up some of the properties on Ocean Drive and uh, Collins Avenue, and we started renovating those properties. And so that was our first neighborhood. We were one of the early movers and transformative in getting that neighborhood going. Another one of our neighborhoods was uh, Aqua on Allison Island. For those of you who may remember or have been here long enough, it used to be the old St. Francis Hospital. Funny fact, Craig was born in St. Francis Hospital. So we bought the St. Francis Hospital, which was closed down at the time, uh, tore it down and built a residential neighborhood called Aqua on Allison Island. Uh, it was our second neighborhood. Okay, And in the midst of doing these two neighborhoods, uh, we, we were kind of in the mid-90s, late-90s, and uh, we saw where South Beach was, we said, well, where's the next area uh, that's going to happen? So we looked across the bay, right across uh, you know, uh, the, the Tuttle Causeway, and there was this area called the Design District. And the Design District was an area that had been, for those of you that have been in Miami long enough, will remember back to the 70s and 80s. Again, some of you uh, hopefully remember back that far. Uh, it was a design area with home furnishings and uh, kitchen and bathrooms and fabrics and carpeting uh, that was there. And then, uh, through some transformation of both the community and the industry, the design just are kind of emptied out. So it was a neighborhood that had good bones to it. In other words, the structures were there, but the people and the tenants were all gone. So Craig and we came back in and we started buying up these buildings. We started to say, let's, let's figure out how to bring this neighborhood back. We were, of course, started off with a good geographic location, at the Lexus between I-95 I and I-195 coming over. So we had two expressway entrances. We were well located. We were very convenient to the beach. We were very convenient to downtown. And the first thing we set out to do was to bring back the furniture and design. And to you know, fast forward, we were very successful at, at one point, and probably still today, have some of the, the, the best selection of high-end furniture and design tenants in the country. We then wanted to continue to drive the neighborhood, and we started to bring more restaurants, more retail, more cultural programming events to the area to help drive the neighborhood. And we took the neighborhood to another level. And then finally, about five years ago, we were able to affiliate 
with a real estate fund in Europe called L, L Real Estate, which is associated with the LVMH luxury brands. And we were able to begin to bring luxury fashion and luxury tenants into the design district. Uh, this partnership and relationship has led to the latest transformation of the design district. DACRA and our uh, joint venture, Miami Design District Associates, controls about 20 acres of property uh, in the area. We now have about 600,000 square feet of mixed-use commercial, uh, retail, showroom, design, restaurant, event space in the area. Uh, we just completed a phase of development which we added 150,000 feet of uh, high-end retail. And we now have started what we call our phase three component in the design district, which will add another couple hundred thousand square feet of high-end retail and about $160 million worth of construction. At the end of the day, what do you get? And the slide show that I asked them to just sort of continue to run continuously gives you some images, both of those uh, buildings and uh, things that are there versus many of the things that we're planning to do is that we anticipate having a million square foot mixed-use neighborhood uh, in, in the design district, which will combine all of the items that I've dis uh, discussed above. We will have a hotel, we'll have some residential, we'll have some multifamily, we'll have some condominium, but primarily going to be retail destination uh, and restaurant, entertainment, and uh, uh, luxury fashion. Uh, I'm going to stop there because I know that there's a, a lot of other people that want to speak. Uh, I thank you for the opportunity to present. Look forward to hearing some of your questions. Thank you.